Hi everyone. In this video we'll talk about the at-home app and how it allows you to turn an old phone into a security camera. Now the reason I like the at-home app is because most of the basic functionality you will need is free of charge. At the same time there's additional functions such as cloud storage or time-lapse videos that are available for pay. Thirdly, it's a pretty reliable app. It doesn't crash often and there are very few false alarms. And finally, it's quite easy to set up and use. There are two at-home apps that we will be using. One of them, let's call it the blue app, so it's going to turn your old phone into the camera. Now the other app, the red app, is the one you want to install on your main phone, on the phone that you currently use, and you will use that app to connect to the camera and to view footage from it. These apps are available for both iPhone and Android on Google Play and App Store. So let's go ahead and start with setting up the camera phone. So we'll be doing this part on the your old phone that you will be using as a camera. So let's go to Google Play, search for the at home app. You'll see there's two apps that will come out. You need the blue one to set up the camera. So let's uh, download it and install it on the phone that's going to be your camera. Okay, so let's open the app. You'll see the image of your camera on the screen. You can go into the menu and uh, give a name to your camera. You can also choose the type of video encoding. I would recommend hardware for uh, better performance. You can choose the app to run at startup. And finally, what I really like about this app is how easy it makes to pair the camera with the monitor phone. Just click on generate QR code. And this is pretty much what you have to do on the camera app. Okay, now in the second part, we'll be setting up your main phone to be able to connect to the camera. So the next steps will be done on your main phone. All right, first thing, we have to go to the App Store and download the Viewer app. Remember, this is the uh, Red app. So just download it. Once it's downloaded, let's open it. And what we want to do first is uh, add the camera. There's a plus sign in the top corner. We'll start from there and we'll select to add the camera by QR code. Now we have to scan the code that was displayed by the camera phone. Once you do that, voila, the camera has been added. It's just that easy. Now we can play with the settings of this camera. So I'll just hit settings. You get a notification saying that it's better to bind the camera. I don't know what that means, but let's select that. Okay, so you can again uh, go back to the name and uh, give your camera any name you want. Okay, now let's look at the settings that actually allow you to control your camera. So motion alarms. Motion alarm is the feature that will record whenever motion is detected. Now there's two intervals that you can set during which motion will be monitored for. You can set the day of the week as well as the time interval um, for which motion will be monitored. A motion alarm is very useful for a camera that will be left inside your house, let's say when you're not home, so you want to make sure you'll be notified and that the video will be recorded when motion is triggered. So once you're done setting up the, uh, the intervals, you can actually adjust the sensitivity of the camera, of the motion detection, between high and low settings, and this will control how sensitive the uh, motion detection is. Okay, now another way to program a camera is to set up scheduled recording. This is to record continuously during a set time interval. There's actually two intervals that you can set and the cameras will just record continuously during those intervals. Okay, now that you've set these, you go back to the camera. There's actually a convenient alarm master switch which allows you to switch on or off the monitoring of motion for a particular camera. Alright, so that's basically the setup for a viewer phone. You're now ready to use the system. So in part three, let's talk about how you can actually view the footage from your cameras. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the app. Once you do that, you have a list of cameras to choose from. And when you click on each camera, you will actually see the footage from that particular camera. Okay, so let's see what happens now when you have a motion alarm set up. So this is my home screen, you notice on the top, there's two icons that have shown up. One is for the at-home app to tell me that there has been a notification. So I'm opening the panel and I do see an at-home motion alert and it tells me that the front door motion detection 
um, has happened. So I'm opening the app. You can see an icon besides the camera that has triggered the motion detection. So now I can go ahead and open that camera and click on the videos. And in motion triggered videos, I will see all the videos that were captured when a motion has actually been triggered. So I can view the videos. The good thing is the video actually starts a few seconds before the motion has happened, which is really cool because you won't miss any part of the action. Now that you've viewed the video, you can go back and you may ask yourself, where does the video get stored? Well, the videos get stored on the phone itself. And there's this neat setting there that allows you to enable auto delete so that your phone memory doesn't get full. But what if your phone gets stolen? Let's say if you have it outside. Or what if your phone's really old and uh, doesn't have too much memory for videos? Well, this is where the premium features of this app called Cloud Storage comes in really, really handy. So what Cloud Storage does is actually allows you to store all your videos on the cloud instead of storing them on the phone. So basically they'll be stored on the internet. It won't take any space on your phone and even if the phone gets stolen, the videos are still there. So you can go ahead and browse all the videos that you have on the cloud. Oh, and there's a nice video about how your packages get delivered, in case you were wondering. Okay, so you can download any video from the cloud to your phone. And in my case, for example, you can just send it to the uh, Canada Post customer service. All right, so besides enabling alert videos to be stored on your cloud, there's also a very cool feature called time lapse. So what time lapse does is actually records a sequence of images which are then sticked together to form a video. So this may be handy when your camera is pointed towards an area that has a lot of action such as your driveway for example where motion detection won't be appropriate. Well in this case it's my uh, front door again. Alright so we've covered cloud storage but there's other neat features that you can get when you buy premium service on your camera. So let's go ahead and open my camera. As you can see my front door camera has premium service but let's click on another camera and see what can you actually get for buying premium service? So aside from cloud storage, which we've already discussed, you get time lapse, which you've already seen. When you pay for premium service, you can actually record video in HD. You can also view several cameras simultaneously in a group view function, which comes in really, really handy. Enhanced two-way audio allows you to speak to the person standing in front of your camera, and you can actually hear the person speak back. Well, and finally, you get no ads in the premium version and you're also allowed to transfer the premium service from one camera to another. All right, so this concludes my review of the at-home app. So if you have an old phone line around, go ahead and install the app on the phone and turn it into a security camera. You can also click on the link on the screen and uh, watch my other video about how to encase the phone so you can use it outside. Well, thanks for watching this review and don't forget to subscribe.